Hey friends, welcome back to Putting Up the Pom Pons. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel where we showcase and discuss everything about our natural hair, from the way we style and care, as well as giving you hairstyle inspiration that is quick and easy to achieve with minimum effort. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to catch our weekly videos every Saturday and Sunday. To all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey Bessie, hey friend, it's nice to see you once again. Let's get into today's video about these micro leaks that I received from Neo Wigs. Hey y'all, so we're back with another hair review. This one is from Nia Wig, and this one they sent me those micro links. They sent me two bundles. I believe each bundle contains like a hundred links. They they sent me some hair clips and a booklet on how to install them. All right, so here it is. My these are called micro ring extensions. Be twenty inches of curly hair. I did have to purchase my own pliers and the hair beater so it says take your natural hair right then take open up right the clear piece pull your hair through right pull the natural hair through the loop using your thumb and index finger okay hold the micro ring with one hand and with the other hand place the plastic loop with the other pull I'm gonna get it on my hair, okay. Is that where I pull my hair through? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus. All right, and then that's when you take the plier and squish it right here so it don't fall off your hair strand and boom. I could probably use this one. I just need to figure out how to get it through the bottom and then we can we can use it now so now when i put i open up the beater in case i mess up the little plastic thing i put my hair in through it right and then push the beater up here and pull my hair <gasps> one down a nine go so i mean it's easy peasy it's just a little time consuming because you're doing like individual strands so that part is you know tedious but like once you got your rhythm down, you start like getting the mood, getting the groove, you know? It, it, it's nothing, it's nothing, it really isn't. And then part in the row's not bad. Yeah, it don't have to be like super straight. Just make it small enough so your strands aren't super big. All right, I've made it to my halfway point and I haven't even started on the second bundle. I still got a couple of strands left from the first bundle. So yeah, this half. I'm gonna do another part going across here, a little part here to cover up all these back here. All right, y'all, so I showed you the concept of how to attach the micro rings to your hair in the first half. So right here, I'm just kind of showing you my process of how I'm working. As you can see, I have this flat twist going around the perimeter. Now, I left a little too much out for my perimeter. I have thick hair, so it just wasn't blending as good. So I did have to go back and add another row going down my perimeter just to kind of help out. Um, but again, I have thick hair. If you're not a thick hair girly, you probably are fine with leaving that much out. But for my thick hair girls, like half an inch around your perimeter will be perfect. That is just enough for where your hair can blend in with the extension hair. So right now I'm just kind of like fast forwarding through this so you can just kind of see how I'm working. I am working in very small parts because again, I want the ratio of my hair to the extension hair to kind of vibe with one another. And that's just going to be you being able to tailor it to your hair as well. Um, they are removable and if you do need to take them out and replace them that is not hard to do all you have to do is just squish the ring from the flat surface that it is once it's attached to your roots to back to a circle and just pull it straight out and I did it like multiple times because there were some rows that I had to delete and then redo over because I didn't like the placement of it and since this was my first time installing the micro rings I wasn't a hundred percent sure what to do and what to expect and how I was going to place them so it was kind of like playing by ear um, I did have to pause a couple of times because I just thought I won't doing it right just to watch some other ladies tutorials on how they installed theirs as well. 
All right, so here I am, and this is like day three by now of me trying to work with these micro rings. I did, again, this is me going in and fixing a row of micro links. I didn't like the placement of them, so I went back in. I've brushed out the hair, I've washed it, and um, in this video, I had even blow dried it. Now, I will say to be careful with the tension that you may cause while brushing, combing, blow drying this hair, because the links can slip right off and you will definitely feel them tugging on your roots so definitely be careful there you don't want to experience any unnecessary breakage in that area but it was fine um, if any of the links did kind of like slip down the strand of my hair I would just go in with my pliers reopen up the link and uh, pull it back to the root to flatten it again so this is the hair in its full thickness and I wore it like this for like a day or two until I could come back and restyle it so this is what it looked like how I I wore it for like day uh, three and four. Um, as you can see, it is very thick and very full and very long. So don't forget to check out the next tutorial. This video is just showing you how I installed it. In the next one, I'm going to show you how I take care of it, managed it, and styled it into a twist out. <laughs> 